This video will be about the skewed deviation test, which is an important part of the HINTS exam. It will focus on how to perform the procedure, what the different results can mean, and some essential knowledge that you should know about. We will start with how to perform the test itself. The first thing you have to do is to sit down with the patient straight in front of you. So now you have the patient's head straight in front of you. The way that you will perform the test is actually quite easy. The first thing you have to do is to tell your patient to look at your nose. He or she should be instructed to try to keep the vision at your nose at all times. Now, put your hand over one of the patient's eyes. Don't actually touch the patient, but hold the hand relatively close to the eye so that you can block the eye from being able to see you. What you're gonna do then is in quick successions of about two to three seconds each, change between blocking the view from each eye. You can use either the same hand to alternate between both eyes or use one hand for each eye, it doesn't matter. So now you're gonna hold your hand over the patient's eye for about two to three seconds. Then you're gonna change to the other eye, hold the hand over this eye as well for about two to three seconds. Then you change back to the first eye and you repeat this a few times. So okay, this is how you perform the test, but what are you actually looking for? Let's go back to doing the test with covering one eye and changing over to the other one. What you may observe just as you change to the other eye is that the eye can be out of place. It is not looking at your nose anymore. This can be very subtle and the patient is usually able to refocus back towards the nose very fast. It is therefore important to concentrate on the eyes to notice any changes. An idea might be to use your smartphone camera if it's able to record in slow motion and record the patient's eyes to make it easier to spot any changes. Not everything means that there is something wrong. What we are looking for are those cases where the eye is vertically out of place. Those can mean that there is something wrong. If the eye is horizontally out of place, however, there is nothing to be alarmed about. This can happen in many benign conditions. In many cases, the eye isn't misaligned purely horizontally or vertically. If you look at the screen, we have three different examples from the left to the right. There is a pathological case, a normal case, and a benign case. In the pathological case, just after you switch the hand over to the other side, the eye is misaligned both horizontally and vertically. What is important to notice here is that the vertical part trumps the horizontal part. Since it is vertically misaligned, this case is by definition positive and should be concerning. Next, in many cases, the eye will just stay still. This is normal and thereby a negative test. Also, in many cases, you might get a benign result. This is when the eye is purely horizontally dislocated and it doesn't have to mean anything. Among other things, it can be seen in people with squinting, but of course, it should be more looked upon. And now we will go through some essential knowledge and repeat some important points. This test is performed as a part of the HINTS exam, which includes head impulse, nystagmus, and test of skew. HINTS is used in patients with vertigo. Vertigo is dizziness, and sometimes they say it's dizziness width that the room has to spin around. A positive result may indicate that there is some damage to the cerebellum or the brainstem. Vertical is pathological while horizontal is often benign. Screw deviation is abnormal in cases of damage to the pre-nuclear vestibular input to the ocular motor nuclei. Thank you for watching. I hope it has been educational. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Cheers.